My name is Corey Beckendorf over here at Team Backcountry. One of the things I get asked a lot when about our hunts is how do you make coffee in the backcountry? People see pictures that Jason take. Um, they know me and they know that I just I don't I don't like bad coffee. I don't like not having coffee in the morning, whether I'm driving to work or whether I'm glass of muleys in Nevada. Um, so here's how we do it. I use a jet boil stove. Everybody's got to take a stove into the backcountry. Um, among other things that I like about the jet boil is they have a French press adapter and that's how I make my coffee. So what you're going to do is you're going to assemble your stove just like you normally would and you are going to start boiling water. Slap this bad boy together. Now don't ever fill it up past the max full line. Um, otherwise you're going to have a volcano on your hands. Everybody who's had a jet boil has probably seen that at least once. So. Start boiling your water. So. Once we have this boiling, um, I'm going to assemble my French press. Now, Jet Boil builds one of these for all of their stoves. They're eight or 10 bucks online or at your local sporting goods store. Um, all it is is you have a screen there, just like you normally would on a French press that's gonna keep your grounds out of your coffee. So now that that's boiling, we're gonna shut that Jet Boil down. And then we're gonna dump our coffee grounds in. Now I usually use about two tablespoons. So multiply that by how many days you're gonna be back there. Um, I'll use the French press rod, actually works pretty good to stir that up. Um, get that to start steeping. Um, run your rod through the top of your jet boil. It's designed for it. Put the French press on. Now you're going to give it about three to four minutes, um, depending on how you like your coffee. Long time to wait, but the coffee's much better than an instant packet. So, so now you've waited your three to four minutes. Your coffee's seeped in. Um, you're just going to go ahead and use this press like any other coffee press, real slowly. Push it down, and you're going to take your jet boil off. You've got your pour spigot. I usually use a GSI mug in the backcountry. They're super lightweight, um, easy to use. They're worth their weight in gold to me. I usually don't drink it out of this. I try to clean this right after I make it. So You'll pour your coffee in and you're good to go. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you found it helpful.